start with song stock, okay? It's offered in multiple different variations. We've got a contractor saw, which is one and three quarter horsepower. There is a professional cabinet saw at one and three quarter horsepower. It is not a hybrid, it is a true cabinet saw, which means that the trunnion is mounted to the cabinet itself. Um, that, in addition to the fact that they do have a three horsepower version of the PCS also. Um, from there, you can step up to the industrial saw. The industrial saw has options of three, five, and seven and a half horsepower motors. There are different size fences available for all saws. Contractor saw, you can have the uh, aluminum extrusion fence, a 36 inch T glide fence, or a 52 inch T glide fence. For the PCS uh, version saw, we offer it with their premium fence shown here, or it can also have a 36 inch or a 52 inch fence system. The industrial only comes with a 36 or 52 industrial T glide fence. The safety system designed on this saw, and it is the only saw that has this in um, the market right now, the brake system reacts within three to five milliseconds. When that happens and you actually have a contact with skin, the brake has a fuse on it, and with an electrical impulse through that fuse, it releases the brake cartridge, which then actuates the saw um, mechanism causing the blade to stop and drop below table height in that three to five millisecond window, faster than an airbag on a car. And for demonstration purposes, we've got this now at full height. It's a little more dramatic that way. Okay, so what we're going to do is we'll turn on the main power of the saw. This will then actuate the safety system. It will go through a self-check to make sure that there aren't any problems with the saw and that the brake cartridge is properly configured and the distance between the brake and the blade is set correctly. That is basically the width of a, a nickel, the thickness of a, a nickel, I should say. So when that brake cartridge is set up, you do that. Okay, it's gone through its self-check. We have a green light, which means that everything's ready to go. Something else that you can do with this, and it, uh, you can't see it there, but this will actually tell us that there's a contact with a finger by giving us a fast red signal. So, otherwise, Gordon is going to assist us with this today. All right, here we go. Jump a little, Gordy. Is that okay? <laughs> Not a scratch. Huh. Really? Nothing. Doesn't usually get nicked. Sometimes you'll get a nick, but uh, nothing. Gordon, we we should do this again because Torch you didn't even get a nick. I know. Most of the time that a customer does this, they'll get a nick. Seldom do they need any stitches. We do have a customer that did have a uh, trip where they ended up with uh, seven stitches, which is an exception. They're very uncommon. People coming in with there we go. <laughs> this collapses this area of the brake, takes a lot of the inertia out of it, but it completely embeds that. Can't reuse the blade. That's all it is. It's kind of like a, a chrome zone on a car with this design and honeycomb in it. We can ship only to Colorado or Wyoming when it comes to the PCS or the ICS saws. The CNS saw can be shipped outside of our normal territory, but because there's some caveats with that, with the shipping and added cost, we refer customers to the website that's set up to handle the uh, purchases of that. So if somebody wants a CNS and they're outside of our normal uh, two-state territory, have them go to the website, they can then configure their uh, saw that way and have it shipped. That's it.